how are you doing today? Today I like to put a, a outlet on my scooter. So what I can do, I can charge my phone with this one or I can you know, run my uh, tools with that or I can do a lot of things. So when I have an outlet, I don't have to go and find the battery and connect myself to the battery. With this one, I can do a lot of things, okay? So I bought this one on Amazon online. So you get the little outlet right here, okay? It's kind of like for marines, uh, marine uh, boat and stuff like that. This one is the little washer right here. This is the outlet. They give you a little this plank, okay? So they give you also the wire. This is the wire that they give you. This one has got all the connections. It's got even a fuse right here. This one is just perfect for your scooter, okay? This one is very important because you can charge your phone, okay? Now that's something we really need every day, charge the phone. Because the battery always go away with your phone. So with this one, you can last all day, okay? So my idea is to place it right underneath the nose of the seat right here, okay? So there is plastic right there. We can make a hole with the driller and we can put this one on. We have some help with the help of super glue a little bit. We can put this one in the back. Okay, so it kind of goes like that. You put this one right here. And then you put this one in the back, okay? So, and then we got the eye wiring that you're going to find the battery, okay? So that this one is just perfect. If you go online, you can find this one for about $10. I will put it on the, on the link. On the on the description video okay so you can you can use this one you can go visit uh, where I buy it and you can put it on your scooter so you can charge your phone plus uh, you know what, what I was thinking this one you can use it also uh, for uh, your gloves in the winter because when it's very cold you can use this one and the gloves the heat gloves you know the one that are, they have electricity for the winter this one is just perfect okay there is two places you can put it right there or you can put it in the glove box you can put this one or you can put both you can put one underneath the seat and you can put one in the glove box this one okay okay let's start what you need is a driller okay with a Phillips screwdriver Phillips screw right here to open up the little door in the front of your scooter where is the spark plug okay so you can have a little room to work with this one is one quarter drill bit uh, and this one they use it for wood but it should be okay for the plastic okay this one and a quarter okay you can use this one if it doesn't work you can lure, you can use a large uh, drill bit okay so that's what you really need before you do the hole okay so right here is perfect you can put the little frame right here you can put the frame or not okay Okay, let's secure this one first, okay? Like that, okay? You're gonna put it in the hole right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do in the front right here. I'm going to place the wiring first now what you're gonna do you can put the little washer right here the little right here the wire behind that okay so 
put this one in the back and you put the wire. Now, try to hold the washer in the back, the, the bolt, the plastic bolt in the back, okay? You connect the wire. Make sure they're pretty tight, okay? You can put some black tape, electrical tape if you want to, but you don't really have to, you know? Okay. Try to screw in the back back bolt as much as you can, okay? And then you can help yourself with the screwdriver to turn this bolt, okay? So to lock the and also you can put some grease at the beginning if you like to make sure this this bolt is going to move faster, okay? Now what you can do too, you can disassemble everything and do a faster way to disassemble everything but it's going to take you a while to unscrew all this plastic, okay? Right after you tied everything up, make sure it doesn't move too much. You can put two screws over here, okay? Make sure it's nice and firm, okay? Doesn't move. Make sure you can open. See? That's a beautiful thing right here. Okay, now we got all this wiring, okay? So this wiring, you can try to put it next to the frame, okay? In a place that's not gonna get too much heat or too much, uh, you know, meltdown. You know, do you wanna, you don't wanna, you don't like to put these cables close to the engine too much okay because you might get too much heat and it might melt and you know you might have some problems okay so from here what we have to do we have to go underneath here that we have the battery okay Right here on the left side of the battery, there is a little hole that goes to the motor, okay? That's where all the wiring goes through. I have a, I don't have a top right here, because I have an oversized battery, okay? This is a bit larger battery. Right here, we have the battery, okay? This battery, I don't have the cover, because this battery it's a 12 volts, 9 ampere. Usually these scooters, they have a 12 volts, 7 ampere, a smaller battery. A bigger battery, not really a really big one, like a car battery, but a bigger battery, 
is more reliable for you, okay? So on the left side right here on the battery, you have the little hole that goes inside the engine. That's where you go have to go with the wiring, okay? So you get two wires, the black one and the red one. The black, black one and red one right here. Try to pass it to this hole from the inside of the engine. Right here you have the wiring, okay? Those are the eye wiring of the outlet right here, okay? So you can connect the black one to the black one and the red one to the red one, right? Make sure when you tight the power line or the outlet, you're not gonna squeeze it too much, you know, because you, you might unthread the battery terminal, okay? I know I like to do everything with the driller, but when you do everything with the driller, you have to be careful. Try to keep everything nice and neat, okay? After you can let the wiring, you can close the top of the battery right here, or I don't have it. I can close my carpet down again, okay? Okay, right after you pass the cable from the outlet to the battery you can put these wires attached to the frame so they're not going to get too much heat from the engine you know they're not gonna get melt down from the engine okay just in case you never know so you can use some zip tie and you can tie this cable to the frame okay Okay. Looks like we're pretty good. Once they tight, tight it pretty good. You tie the cable to the frame so they don't touch the motor and they don't get too much heat, okay? So make sure this one is nice and firm and you can close the door like the door right here. Engine door. We can close it down. We can put better screw. Okay? Now make sure these screws they're not flying around then you're gonna lose any screws. But if you look at the screws, uh, you don't need to find a new screws or maybe it's on the floor, you can get a flat tire on your scooter, okay? You can get the screw on your tire. It's kind of like a magnet, okay? Every time you lose the screw, it goes on your tire, okay? So make sure you don't lose the screw. Okay everybody, we just place a 12 volt outlet right here on your scooter. You can place it right here or you can place it inside your glove box, okay? 
you're going to place it to the outlet and then you're gonna run it to your battery, okay? So, with this thing you can power up a GPS, you can power up a iPhone or charger or you can charge your battery with it. You can do a lot of things with this 12 volts. It's very useful, okay? So, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. I will put the description underneath uh, of this outlet and the link. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.